Have you ever been in a discussion and had no understanding of what was being discussed? You didn't understand the language, the meanings, or the insinuations. You felt like you were totally clueless or in the dark. Sometimes that is a problem if things are to get done or relationships are to grow and be vibrant and healthy. You just want to understand, know the truth, and move on. Jesus said something very unusual to his disciples. He said, What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in the light. Matthew 10, 27. The Lord used the word darkness to show that some things are withheld from others until we tell them. That's true concerning the gospel of salvation, and it is true concerning truth about the walk of a believer. The phrase outer darkness appears three times in Scripture. All three times are in the book of Matthew. The references are Matthew 8.12, Matthew 22.13, and Matthew 25.30. The first time it is mentioned, it is associated in context with the kingdom of heaven in Matthew 8.11. The phrase kingdom of heaven is a reference to the kingdom of God on earth. It is specifically related to the kingdom age yet to come in time. For a thousand years. Entrance into this age will be based upon one's faith. This is not saving faith, but faith demonstrated by action. That is illustrated by the beseeching of the centurion for his servant who was sick and tormented with, with palsy. The second time this passage is used, it is applied by the Lord to a marriage feast. Matthew 22, verse 13. The subject is not hell. The friend in the feast did not have on a wedding garment. There is significance to this when applied to the church, the body of Christ. When we are saved, we have been given the garment of salvation in Christ. But the wedding garment is made up of the righteous acts of the saints, Revelation 19.8. This deals with the saint who overcomes in their walk or life from sin, from persecution, from temptation, and in grace works, out, works on their relationship with the Lord on a daily basis. The third time this phrase is used by the Lord, it is about the judgment of a servant. Matthew 25, 30. The word servant is never used in Scripture as a description of the world, or a heathen, or the lost. The unprofitable servant belongs to the Lord. He was held accountable for doing nothing with the talent he was given. This servant is called wicked and slothful. He was not allowed to enter into the joy of the Lord. That means he would not experience this joy in the kingdom of heaven. That places this servant outside the best things a believer can experience, who will not know the joy of the Lord during the kingdom age to come. That is outer darkness. There's a lot of opinions about outer darkness, but I'm telling you from my study, it is not hell. It can be applied in a gospel message to the difference between who's saved and who's lost. But when we're studying scripture, there are rules of interpretation to understand. One of those rules are, there can be many applications to Scripture, but only one interpretation. 
The interpretation of outer darkness in these three passages have to do with things that are true in the kingdom of heaven. And in the kingdom of heaven, there will be some who will not be able to enter the joy of the Lord experientially. They will not rule and reign with the Lord in the kingdom age to come. We need to understand that. Because in each of these parables, the subject is not hell. 